Hey everyone, so today's video is a little bit different. Instead of recording everything live like in my past videos, I'm keeping this short and sweet. No fluff, just straight to the point. I'll show you how I built this futuristic coffee shop for free using Deepseek and Bold.new. And guess what? You can do it too. I'll walk you through everything. And if you like techy creative projects like this, smash that subscribe button is the easiest way to catch my next video All right let's jump right in okay so i was thinking i was like what could a futuristic coffee shop look like and then i started creating what i call a meta prompt for a coffee shop which i'm going to show you soon and i'll show you every step of the way and how you can lubricate the same as well so this is what Deepseek plus bot.new thinks a futuristic coffee shop would look like. So basically this coffee shop it says neuro coffee shop, okay, neuro coffee experience, where AI meets at Sano Coffee, experience the future of brewing powered by neural networks and sustainable tech. So that's what this website is all about. So it's about neural networks and sustainable tech. And we're talking about brewing coffee. Right here, now uh, within the hero section, we have an explore menu button, which takes us to the menu. Right now it's not working, but that's not a big deal. These menus right here are working. So this is the menu, basically. And this just shows us um, how you can see. Uh, if we finalize this, we take this um, and finalize it, it should be some coffee in here and we should be able to uh max like rotate this and do everything with it which is so cool as well and i'll also show you uh the library that was used to uh, create this probably the ai2 that we're going to use fetched or imported the library that was used here uh, automatically installed everything and yeah it was working uh, and here, this is our our menu. We have these drinks and we have the prices. Yeah, which is cool as well. And here we have says AI pairing engine. Let our AI suggest the perfect pastry for your drink. So basically you can get recommendations as well, which is, I think, cool. And then we have the lab section. This just says explore our cutting edge coffee research and sustainable practices. So basically, it says you can point to a certain equipment, scan that equipment, and it will give you the guide of um, what that equipment is all about. So you can see here, uh, maybe I pointed to um, something and it says uh, heat water to 90. I don't know if these are instructions. I think they're instructions right here. But basically, if I do this, it looks like it's scanning something and this changes as well. So yeah, this is just the AI that did everything. Uh, I think it's cool. Um, and then here it says track our beans from farm to cup with verified sustainable matrices, metrics. And yeah, here we have these metrics. It says farm in Ethiopia processing. It's a natural process roasted it was roasted two days i don't know so much about coffee but hey those who are who know a lot about coffee i think this would make much more sense to you so yeah this is the website that we have and here you can scan to pay uh, or to order which is also cool and another thing that i should point out everything here was created, designed, and developed by the AI itself. The question would be, how do we achieve something that is well put together like this? Okay. What I do when I'm creating these things, I start with what I call a meta prompt. So basically, a meta prompt is a prompt that instructs an, a large language model to create a final prompt that you're going to use with, for example, another large language model to now start creating the website or 
you can use with another AI tool to start uh, forming the website that you want. So let's just go through this meta prompt a bit. Here you can see it says meta prompt for a futuristic coffee shop. So we are saying um, you are a professional prompt engineer. So the meta prompt instructs the large language model to be a prompt engineer because the the more you specify or the more instructions you provide the large language model uh the more exact your final product may look all right so here we're saying be a professional prompt engineer your task is to light a detailed reusable prompt that when given to a web development large language model generates code for a multiple page futuristic coffee shop website and here you can see we've highlighted that we want multiple pages we want more than one page right here instruction for the final prompt we are saying the final prompt must include the purpose so the purpose could be design a futuristic coffee a coffee shop website named here we're going to provide a name with immersive interactivity and AI integrations. Target audience, these are tech survey coffee, coffee enthusiasts who value sustainability and cutting edge design. That's why if you see our our like our final product is is talking about sustainability from here, the carbon dioxide saved, water saved, these are sustainability metrics. All right, so that's where it is coming from. Okay, so you can change this take this audience. For example, if you're developing, um, like in our in my previous video, I did the same for uh, a shoe shop landing page. These things were changed to adapt to that uh, shoe shop landing page. And then the next thing that we have here is core pages and sections. Right here, we provide a JSON object where we have the pages that we want. So here we have home, menu, and lab. That's why here we have exactly those pages. That's why providing the instructions or making sure your meta prompt is perfect makes you have a quality product at the end. So that's about the pages and we have the sections that should come. Here we have 3D drink customizer, NFT merchandise carry. This one is not there. I wonder why. Um, AI pairing suggestions. We have this. So basically, I think if we go to the home page, um, yeah, uh, it's it has to be menu, AI, the merchandise. Okay, maybe it's this one. So this is the merchandise. You can see Neuron Nitro, Quantum Rati. Of course, this shows like sig signature drinks. But yeah, you can basically change those things if you think they don't look the way they're supposed to be. And here, these are instructions. I will share this at the final, at the very end. So you can go through it yourself and change it to fit your uh, what you want. So basically, even if you don't want to change this manually, what you can do is take this, the same thing that I always do. You go to your AI model and then you can paste this and then basically say, change it maybe to um, a coffee, a restaurant, something else, whatever you want. But basically, once you have this prompt, uh, this meta prompt, you can just copy it come into your large language model, paste it, and the final result will be instructions. Right here, DeepSeek is thinking through, as you can see, it's thinking through, and then right here we have the final prompt. The final prompt sounds like, hey there, let's build an immersive AI-powered website for Neurogrind Cafe, a futuristic coffee hub merging cyberpunk vibes with eco-conscious tech target audience sustainability focused hackers and coffee geeks who want their latte with the side of neural networks and here we have must have pages these are the pages 
these these are the pages yeah and that's why we have those there okay so once you've done this you will take your meta prompt or your prompt now the final prompt you go to bot.new and inside dot new once you go to this website you find that it gives you a section like this where you can just paste this uh, this prompt once you paste it like for, for for example here it started generating so what it does is it creates a whole file structure for you this code is in uh, react for me but you can make it be in Vue.js if you want uh, there are a number of languages that they support so the good thing is you have all these for the structure you can export it and then run this on your local machine as well which is great so this is what it did for the first time it did not return these sections these sections were there but they were just blanks it said we are going to provide this information later coming soon and then once it did that i i added another prompt and i said please add a simulated live feed for now which it created this for during the second time and then i also said add a simulated 3d model and uh, for the 3d model this is the 3d model that it added you can choose your preferred library and finally add a simulated ar experience so it added all those things in the lab you find that there is an ar experience right here but these are simulated hoping that you're going to change these things later and I didn't go back and forth with the AI because it made a lot of mistakes. No, that is the reason why I always start with the meta prompt. I highlight, I highlight everything that is important within the meta prompt before I take it to any tool that I'm going to use to create my web page. So that's how I created this wonderful futuristic coffee uh, shop. I think this is amazing. I also think you you have you also think the same. But yeah, you can take the meta prompt and then create whatever you want to create with it. So this makes development very very easy, guys. Yeah, trust me. If you're someone who has back end development skills like me, um, it's good to have something like this that will create front end pages for you which you can use your apis and integrate everything let me know what you want to see in the next video and i'll create something for you all right have a great time thank you